Hi, I'm John from Eurovision Ireland, and I'm here with the wonderful Jendrik from Germany. Jendrik, how's your day? Hello. Well, it just started basically my day, so I can't really say how my day. It was. It's been great since now until now. But we'll see how it's going afterwards. Until oh, now. How was your day? Oh, it's it's good. It's good. We've got a whole day of um, rehearsals to watch. Um, I don't oh, know whether you've have you seen any of the rehearsals so far. Yeah, I've seen I've seen I've seen pretty much all of them. Not not all of them, but a few of them I've seen. Yeah. And um, would you like to say which of them are your favourites, or do you want to keep that under wraps for now? I want to keep that under wraps, just because you know when you're part of the competition, it would be rude to say oh i like you and i don't like you you know what i mean it would be like now <laughs> that's that's a, that's a good answer that's a good answer okay we're going to start um you've done a few musicals in your time um hairspray and the like how did you get into those well i did my very first musical i did when i was in third grade back in school like like but just like hobby hobby wise in school and then i did it over and so it was always part of my life but I think I didn't realize that I wanted to do it professionally until I was like in the last year of high school. Like in the last year of high school, I, I, I focused on music and I decided, okay, I want to do something with music on stage, either my own music, either pop music, or I want to do musical theater. Those were the two options. And I applied for both of them. But only when I got into the last round for musical theater, I realized, okay, right now, what I really want to do is like stand on stage with people improvising and or just being on stage with other people performing, which was not part of the auditions for pop music. That's why I, pop music back then was like, oh, because you only performed alone in front of the juries. Yeah. So so that's why I decided to go with musical theater. And I did my I did four years of studying musical theater and then I worked I've been working since then in the musical theater business professionally. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Now, is there a musical you would love to appear in that you've not been in okay, not been in so far? Yes, yes, I would love to appear in Singing in the Rain. Like that's one of my favorite musicals, and I think the the role Cosmo, uh, Cosmo Brown, I think he's called. Uh, I would love to play that role. He's like the sidekick of the main character. Okay. And I always see myself as a sidekick, not less than the main character, but the sidekick. So I would love to do that. So there's any London West End producers watching out there singing yeah. in the rain? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they would cast a German, German guy. But if they want to, hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on to uh, Eurovision now. You were selected in February uh, by German television internally. How did that come about? Actually, I was selected in December. Like I got, to, I got. Uh, they they told me that I'm, that I'm the one on December first. Uh, it was it was a process over half a year. Like it started back in August. So usually the NDR calls people that they know from television, you know, from the voice of the show, and asks them, "Hey, do you want to apply for the Eurovision Song Contest?" Um, there wasn't a link online that you can apply, and because I didn't have a like, I tried to find a link. Oh, hello, cat. Come down from the mat from the laptop. So I, 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 it's all, right, I, we have, it's I, all right. We have a mouse here as well. Oh my word, mouse! <laughs> yeah, this is Ian. Ian, Ian likes laptops. That's why I always have to clean him up because sometimes he just quits the program, which is not so good. <laughs> oh, careful! So, um, so let me start from the beginning because. I tried to apply for it, for the original song contest, but it wasn't possible. There was no link online. There was no way up to apply. I actually emailed to the NDR, to the pro broadcasts who are doing it. And I said, hello, I would like to apply. And I got a mail back like, oh, we are always interested in fans having, uh, in, wanting to know about uh, the process. We will, we will get, we will tell you everything as soon as it's over. Like, okay, they are not taking me seriously because I'm just the mail that getting. So how I applied or how I tried to apply was by posting TikTok videos. I, I created a music video by myself for a song that I wrote by myself that I produced with a friend together. And I created those um, TikTok videos behind the scenes of the music video. And I said in every, each and every one, I said how to make a music video if you want to apply for the song, music Eurovision Song Contest, but you cannot apply, uh, but you still want to. So that's why I'm posting those. And 
yeah, I after one of them blowing up on TikTok, blowing up meaning like 250k views, which is not a lot for TikTok, but for me it was a lot. Um, somebody messaged me on Instagram and said, "Oh, you want to apply? Um, I have maybe the context." And then over him, I got to the context, and that's I, they called me and said, "Hey." You can be in the first round if you finish the music video, if you can send in the video by August 15th. And we finished shooting the video uh, on August 9th. So I had like five days to cut it, <laughs> so I, <laughs> which was very exhausting. But I did, like, I did it with a friend together. We cut the video and I sent it in and that's how I got into the first round. And then it was a process of two juries judging all the artists that were in the round. They were judging the songs. We actually got to go to songwriting camps and create even more songs. There were like over 300 songs just for the German, for that German entry. And the juries at the end, like after the live performance and the final, we had a live performance. They decided on not taking any of the cool professional songs, but the one that I wrote by myself one year <laughs> prior, which was I Don't Feel Hate. It's brilliant. I mean, it's 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 certainly a, a different song to a lot of the others that we've heard over the past few days and over the coming days. Um, and it's also a social media, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 yeah. It's um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, have you have you had any advice from any other German Eurovision performers at all? I have not talked to any of them because. I'm too shy to message them, you know, like, oh, like, oh, they are all so big. I don't want to do that. And they have not reached out. Maybe, maybe they don't like me. <laughs> There's time yet. There's time yet. There's time yet. Um, now, yeah, Eurovision's got a, a long history. Uh, and, you know, in Germany, you've had a couple of wins in the past. Um, what are your top Eurovision memories? Well, one of my favorite mem like, when I was... I think 14, 15 years old, I don't know. When Alexander Rybak won, that was really impressive for me because I used to play the violin for a long time, like 13 years. Oh God, I haven't touched that thing for a few years now. That's so bad. I should I should pl play it again. But when I, when I saw somebody playing the violin in pop music and it looked cool, that was really because then I felt like, oh, I'm kind of cool too, because I'm playing the violin too. Oh, that's so like he was really impressive. So that's one of my first moments where I was really impressed by the Eurovision Song Contest. Nice one, nice one. And 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 your top your favorite German song? It's it's boring. It's satellites, pretty much. Because yeah, because I mean it was a big hype when we won. It was like, ah, we won, satellites. Then it was a great song. I, I still like it. Well, I also like Genis Khan, <laughs> which is, I mean, it's just a fun song. Who who doesn't like Genghis Khan? It's like, yeah, yeah, it's a go-to <laughs> song to get a party going. It really is. It, um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we 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 discussed musicals. Who are your other musical influences then? Oh my, like in music in general. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been growing up with Lighthouse Family and Jack Johnson and those kind of um, artists. But I've been when I was when I when I was eighteen years old, I I um, found no. What what, what 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 do you say when you like when you found somebody for yourself or you? Fell, you just I fell them. in love. Yeah. I yeah. fell. Yeah, I discovered. That's the word. I yeah. discovered Taylor Swift for me. I discovered Taylor Swift's music. And yeah, I, she's like one of my idols, just be, or not idols, but like the way she's writing her songs, I really admire her because she's always writing personal things about real things happening. And I really like that. So if you could deal out with someone, would it be Taylor Swift? Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Well, actually, if I could do it with, I would probably take Dodie. Do you know, do, do, uh, I would probably ask Dodie, do you know Dodie? She's from Great Britain. Uh, she's a ukulele player and she's amazing. I would love to do it, do a duo with her. Yeah. What 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 got you onto the you said you were um, a violinist before. What got you onto the ukulele? Well, my sister wanted one for her birthday, and she got one for her birthday back when I was 18, 19, I don't know. Oh, that is weird. Not yet. 
I just just got a call. Sorry. So I so she wished for a ukulele on her birthday, and I saw it on her birthday table, and I took it. <laughs> and, I, and she never got to play the ukulele. <laughs> she never learned it because I took it uh, shamelessly and I um, uh, I played it. I, I fell in love with it just because it's so happy and so easy to play and she never got to learn it. <laughs> I should so, probably give it back. Today. So we're never to leave musical instruments around when you're uh, lying around when you're close then. Otherwise you'll start, start <laughs> yeah. to play them. <laughs> but I don't think it's not it's happening again Wait, oh we'll see maybe it's happening again I, sh I should ask her if she she can wish for another instrument on her birthday yeah if you win you can buy her one <clears throat> yeah <laughs> true <laughs> now you're not you've, you've not made it to Rotterdam yet but um are you able to tell us anything about what your staging is going to be like yes it's going to be a lot of choreography it's going to be a lot of fun. Actually, that's the most important thing. Like I'm going there with the goal of just enjoying myself on stage with my with my friends. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just um, spreading like it's not going to be any special effects or big, big, big things happening just because the song itself is already so crazy. Oh, that's what people tell me. So like, I don't want the, the watches to be overwhelmed. Uh, but, but 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 we'll see maybe it's too much it's my taste so it's it's okay we'll see because there are plenty of big mad stagings already happening so something a bit That's pared down true. might might just yeah no but like, actually it's going to like we have big things happening on the leds wall too but we'll see we'll see excellent excellent now um you, you just you just turned down a call, so we're we're, we're going to start and wrap things up now. But one no oh, no 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 never mind. Hey, no okay. worries. Uh, okay. This, okay, we we have we have time. Brilliant, brilliant. So, um, what's your future plans after your revision, twenty second of May? What happens after that? Well, I would love to put out more music, like more music that I created. Um, but it's a question of money, you know, because you would you think people going to the Eurovision Song Contest are rich. No, <laughs> I I don't have money. I don't have any money. So uh, <laughs> I thought I would get money, but it's not the case, really. So it's just a question of money if I can do that or not. Okay, so so if you want to promote your stuff, where can we find you on social media? You can find me on my name is Yendrik underline. No, wait, that is wrong. <laughs> you can find me. On, my name is underline yendrik j-e-n-d-r-i-k and you can follow me there and on tiktok and then i on twitter i have a different handle it's the same name yendrik with four k's i don't know why i have so many different handles i wouldn't like i just created them back then so if you don't like having so many handles i'm sorry i wouldn't think people would care <laughs> so uh yeah is there another is there another social media Instagram? No, and I have a I have a web page now, which is yendrixworld.com. Yendrixworld.com. So we can find all My your brother stuff created it. It's very fancy. Excellent, excellent. And there's something we always ask our interviewees. What's your favorite cake? My favorite cake would be oh, oh what's it called in English? I don't know. Like it has chocolate and um, cherry. Um, Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. Do you know what's, what's it, what it is? We call it a Black Forest Gatto. That's the one. That's the one. That's probably, a very good choice. Yeah. yeah, I love that one. That's a good choice. Now, um, this is going to go out to the viewers and readers of EurovisionIsland.net. So have you got a message for all of those um, viewers and readers out there? Yes, I have a few me messages, actually. The first one is for all the Eurovision watchers. Eurovision, and they are probably all... Uh, watching you uh, seeing your blog um try to see the the contest for its reason why it got initially created which was to come together and to um celebrate music together celebrate music together and like to just celebrate each and every artist for their style of music and to appreciate each style of music coming from different nationalities because that's what the eurovision song contest is about the contest 
a lot of I, I see a lot of Eurovision fans seeing the contest at like the contest at first place and the the reason why it got created a second. And a lot of are like, ah, oh, I hate that one. Oh, this sucks. Oh, the staging is bad. Oh, oh, the costumes will ruin everything. Oh, oh. and I'm like, that's not what it's about. It's like just celebrate. Like, just try. To, I'm going there to celebrate each and every one and to celebrate the music. And I would love the audience to do that too. That is my first message. And my second message is if you're, if you have any free space in your top 10 list, you can give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I think your song is, is different enough. Um, we've seen a lot of big numbers with, with you know, female vocalists with dancers going around them. Um, and you could say that some of them sound the same and there's, there's other stuff going off, but your song is definitely different. And, um, if you get a good draw, who knows? We'll all come round to your house we'll next see. year. Yeah. We'll, we'll round to see. your house next year. <laughs> <laughs> Contest in Hamburg. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Well, I would love that. Excellent. Right. Um, we're going to wrap it up now. Uh, wrapping it up wrapping it up I actually look kind of like muscly in this shirt don't I you need to keep that look <laughs> <laughs> sorry I was just looking at myself and like oh this is no this problem no part. problem <clears throat> right we're going to wrap this up now so Jedrick yes. it's been great talking to you unfortunately we can't actually meet in Rotterdam because you'll be there and I won't be um, yeah but we hope it all goes well when you start rehearsing later on this week and of course you know the, the shows that you have to do next friday and next saturday and who knows oh that's all right oh i'm so looking forward to that that would be that will that will be amazing yeah oh yeah now you just like you should just like as you said next saturday next i was like oh you're right oh my word it's so close it is. i can't it is. wait it is okay jendrick it's been great talking to you same um, yeah and good luck next week. Thank you so, so much. And you too. No, not good luck to you too. Well, yeah, kind of good luck. We need to look too. Hoping <laughs> that your favorite will win. Thank you. Take care. Whoever, whoever it is, with, with all the alcohol in your background, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> take care. Take care, Jenny. All right. <laughs>